Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Imad and in today's video we will take a look at bar chart trace implemented in Python. If you haven't subscribed to my channel before, please do subscribe. Now let's get started. What do we mean by bar chart trace? Uh, bar chart trace is a visualization that looks like this. You have different bars that are essentially in a race with each other uh, against time. And as you can probably see, the bars are moving as time goes. Uh, some of them, I mean, they will move, of course, when they race against each other. So based on the value of the bar and based on the time, uh, these two change. It looks really good when you visualize this. Uh, and in today's video, we will look at a way of doing this in Python very quickly and very easily. So let me quickly get started with the bar chart race itself. There is a package in Python called no surprises for guessing bar chart race and I will quickly pip install it on my Google Colab and there you go we already have the bar chart race package installed I will import two packages import pandas as pd and import bar chart race as bcr I have already uploaded a sample data set to my Google Colab uh, in this case, I'm using the life expectancy by country data set that is available on Kaggle. You guys can go and check it out. Uh, I can link that in the description. So it's a CSV file with different life expectancy values for people from different countries. For the purpose of this visualization, we are going to look at certain combinations of countries that are also present in the same database or rather in the same CSV file. So I have made a selection of some column names that I want to visualize. Uh, this is so that you can get a sort of an idea of the entire world and how the life expectancy varies across the world instead of particular countries, but you could as well select the countries that you're interested in and then run this visualization. So I do that by selecting the column names. After I read in the CSV file, I, I select the column names. I select, I set the year as string. And then most importantly for the purpose of this package, you need to set that up as an index, the year value. Uh, and then you have, I, I mean, because the data itself is not in a format that I can directly use, I run a pivot. Uh, and then rename accesses and select the column name. So if I will just run the cell, you will see the prepared data uh, that you need in order to run the visualization. So I have my year as part of my index and the rest of the columns are basically the countries or in this case, the combination of countries that I want to visualize. So yeah, basically you need to basically whatever your time axis might be it might be year it might be dates it might be months you need to put that as part of your index and the other columns that you want the bar chart trace to occur for should be separate columns with integer value integer or float values as you can see here so i have 61 rows 61 uh, year data points and 11 columns where i have 11 different uh, combinations of countries for which I want to run the bar chart race and now it's as simple as running the next cell and getting the output ready I will run the cell and then explain each of the parameters that you see here because this takes some time to run so you see I import bar chart race as BCR uh, and then after that I just call this bar chart race function after importing from uh, bar chart race package uh, and pass all of these parameters so what do I pass? I pass the data frame value, uh, which we prepared, the, the data basically that we prepared in the previous cell. Uh, here, file name is equal to none, but you can also give a file name uh, over here, like abc.mp4, for instance, and then the output of the visualization will be stored as a video. In this case, I have put it as none because I want to show it to you uh, on the Jupyter interface or on the Colab interface, but you can also change that and add a file name. Orientation is horizontal and that's why you will see horizontal bars. You can also change this H to V and you will see vertical bars. The number of bars and N bars, basically the number of bars that you want to see in this case 11, the number of steps for each of the period that you want to see, default is 10, so I've also set that as 10. The label bars, so should the bars have a label alongside them, 
uh, in this uh, basically the value of the bar I want to show the value so I've set it as true the period length is 800 so now and, and then you have period label period summary function this is slightly interesting so period label essentially tells where do I place my time period label right so period label in this case is the year uh, so you give your x and y coordinates and you place it accordingly over there I also am showing you how you can use the period summary function which is a way to customize your chart and add custom text uh, in this case I am adding some sort of a label which says made by me uh, you, and placing that with uh, on, on these x and y coordinates of this size and there are lots of other parameters that you can add here and modify it based on how you want to visualize then you have the figure size 5 comma 3 in this case you have your x as 5 y as 3 c map is basically the contour map or the color map that you want uh, there are different default matplotlib co configurations so uh, another side note or rather important note is that bar chart rate bar chart trace uses matplotlib uh, under the hood to implement this so some of these are typically the things that you would see for matplotlib uh, it also has a plotly uh, backend, but I don't think it's completely uh, implemented. It was supposed to be out in the next version, but I don't see it yet. So for now, this is what we will see using the matplotlib version. You have the title, life expectancy in years from 1960 to 2020, the bar label size, the tick label size, uh, and the figure is none because I'm just printing it out here. And this is the video that we saw earlier at the start of the video and as you can probably see there are different combinations of bars that are moving as time goes so now i mean this in this case i'm just uh, showing it to you on screen but like i said you can also download an mp4 version of this and then uh, share it as a video with other folks like i said i'm also adding a label a custom label and this is what the period label is so it is pretty simple to get a default version up and running there are some levers customization levers that you can use and change how your bar chart race looks uh, there are some more uh, what do you say some more parameters I, that I'm not talking about but you can also go to this bar chart race documentation and basically go to API reference and take a look at the rest of the parameters I'm just quickly showing you over here but you can also explore them and decide if that is something that is relevant for your project especially uh, if you want a particular order so in that case you can give a fixed order or if you want to fix the maximum value right on top so there's this fixed max thing that you can also set so there are quite a few more customizations that you can do uh, I, I would suggest you go and feel free to check out the documentation and then decide what is relevant for you and your project that's it for this video I just wanted to quickly show you how you can implement a very basic and a quick version of bar chart race like I said the parameters are for you to explore and decide how you see them fit thank you so much for watching I hope this video helps you build your own bar chart race and I'm looking forward to hearing from you uh, to see what you've built please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video